Company X plans to give the following dividends, $11 at the end of year 1, $7 at the end of year 2, $6 at the end of year 3, and $3.5 at the end of year 4. At the end of year 4, the company announced that dividends will grow at a constant rate of 4% forever. If the required rate on this investment is 14%, what is the price of a company X today? So here we are dealing with a situation of a non-constant growth in dividends. We have different dividends for the first four years and then after year four, the dividends are going to grow constantly over time. What we need to do to determine the price of the stock is to basically identify the expected future dividends and discount them back to the present. Uh, before we do anything, we draw the timeline just to be able to visualize what we are dealing with. So here we draw the timeline, we have time zero, we have year one, year two, year three, and year four. The problem tells us that uh, the company is going to pay $11 at the end of year one, $7 at the end of year two, $6 at the end of year three, and $3.5 at the end of year four. After year four, um, the dividends are gonna grow constantly over time. So they're gonna grow at a rate of G. So here if we have five, so be G, um, which is um, according to the problem, which is 4%. So the dividends are gonna grow um, at 4% after year four. So again, to uh, visualize when the dividends become constant, where they are, they are changing, we do this. So from time zero to uh, year four, to the end of year four, we have non-constant dividends. From year four to forever, we have constant dividends or constant dividend growth constant dividend growth. Of course, we can determine D5, D6, D7, D8, D forever. However, that is time consuming. And so we have a shortcut that we can use uh, to be able to determine uh, those uh, the, the value of those dividends. So at the end of year four, the dividends start growing constantly over time. So we can use the constant dividend growth model um, to determine P4. So P4 would be um, equivalent to the, the present values of all future dividends expected after year 4 discounted back to year 4. Okay, so that P4 is going to reflect all dividends that are uh, to be received after year four, discounted back to the time, um, to the end of year four. So uh, the dividends are growing constantly over time uh, at the end of year four. So to determine P4, we use the constant dividend growth model that says the price equals to the next dividend divided by R minus G. The next dividend after year four is the dividend we are expected to get at the end of year 5. So P4 would equal to D5 divided by R minus G. To determine D5, we look at uh, the dividend at the end of year 4. So we're getting $3.5 at the end of year 4 and that dividend is going to grow at 4% uh, for the next year. So we take 3.5 and we multiply by 1 plus 0.04. We divide by R minus G. R is the required return on this investment and the problem is telling us that the required return is 14%. So it would be 0.14 minus the growth rate in dividends which is 4% or 0.04. This would equal to 3.64 divided by 0.1 which gives us a price of 36.4. Okay, so P4 equals to 36.4 dollars. So that 36.4 dollars reflect the uh, reflects the um, the uh, present value of all dividends expected to be received after year four at the time uh, at the end of year four.
okay? So now that we have identified all of our cash flows, what we need to do is discount these cash flows back to the present. So P0 here would be equal to D1 divided by 1 plus R to the power 1 plus D2 divided by 1 plus R to the power 2 plus D3 divided by 1 plus R to the power 3 plus D4 plus P4 divided by 1 plus R to the power 4. And now we can just plug in our variables. D1 is 11. So 11 divided by uh, 1 plus 0 0.14 to the power 1 plus 7 divided by 1 plus uh, 0 0.14 to the power 2 plus 6 divided by 1 plus 14 to the power 3 plus uh, 3.5 plus 36.4 divided by 1 plus 0 0.14 to the power 4. This gives us a price of 42.71. We can also get to this number using the financial calculator, using the CF and the NPV buttons. So here's what we input. So again, CF, so CF, second CEC to clear all your work, and then you hit CF again. CF0, we don't have any cash flow year 0. CO1 is 11. Enter, down arrow. CO2 is 7, enter, down arrow, CO3 is 6, enter, down arrow, and CO4, at the end of uh, year 4, we're getting that dividend of 3.5 plus the price of 36.4. You add them together and you get 39.9, enter, down arrow. Now we have inputted all of our cash flows. You hit NPV. You're going to be asked for the I. The I is 14. Enter, down arrow, and then CPT. And the price is 42.7091 or 42.71, which is what we have found before.